Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike here with Midwest Paddle Boarding and today I'm going to be opening up this bad boy. What's in this box? Well, Goose Hill Sup was kind enough to provide me with one of their boards to test out. And this is uh, their inflatable paddle board, which uh, they just sent to me. So I'm really looking forward to getting this bad boy opened up, see what we got inside. Right now I'm, uh, I'm out on Lake Superior. As you can see, it's a bit choppy, so see how this goes, but uh, really looking forward to it. And uh, without further ado, let's see what we got inside. So I just got everything unpacked and as you can see everything's kind of rolled out here. Pretty standard uh, setup for a paddleboard manufacturer. They provide you with a nice compact case. Some cases that you get with these paddleboards are so big but this is really compact and I'm really liking it so far. You get a three piece paddle, you get your dual action pump, a fin, leash and of course Right here, you get a patch repair kit. Hope you never have to use it. Um, first impression so far, I'm really digging the color. It's uh, it's got this deep blue that um, I wasn't expecting. In the pictures, it kind of looks a little bit lighter, but in person, it's uh, just the black, the blue, the white, and the gray. It's such a great combination. I'll, I think I'm really gonna love the aesthetics uh, once I start getting pictures and content going. But um, yeah. I'm gonna get this baby uh, inflated, test her out on the water, and uh, give you my final two cents on it. My overall impressions of this paddleboard were that it's rather an average paddleboard. There's really nothing bad about it, but there's nothing really special or unique about it as well. I was a little concerned that it kind of had a curve to it, but once I got out on the water, it, it was completely fine. So that wasn't really an issue at all. Overall, the balance was good on it. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling here with the wind. It was rather windy on this day, which is a good thing when you're testing out a paddleboard. So it did test out just fine in the wind and kind of a wavy environment. As you can see here, I'm standing on it just fine. Um, overall, this paddleboard is probably suitable for somebody just starting out or somebody a little bit intermediate and in wanting to purchase a paddleboard they are rather inexpensive so i would highly recommend this paddleboard if you're just kind of getting into it 